Well, hello everybody and welcome to 263Bs. Sorry, I got uh, a little bit ahead of myself here. I uh, already went and scraped some of the wax caps off of the uh, off of two front, two deep frames. The wife wanted to have an experience of spinning it. Uh, probably needs to go a little faster than that, but. Probably needs to go a little faster than that. So we're spinning my first two frames I've ever spun of my own. And uh, see what we're going to get out of these suckers. In my first draw. <laughs> they yeah, want me to take over? Okay. <laughs> Let me step across here. No, don't, don't try to stop it. It'll do, let it do itself or you're going to rip your hand off. Yeah, I'm being as a man man or man or nothing. I'm tangential. I'm going to get one side at a time so we're not balanced. <laughs> It was wanting to walk on me. I'm doing this outside, so I'm probably going to have bees come visit if the wind changes direction. Plus, like these are pretty fat frames. Eh? They're not my fattest frames. I've got to find a better way to cut them. I'm thinking of maybe a bird knife. Think about maybe a bird knife. We'll uh, cut that wax a little better. Now I know a little bit about what Bob talks about with having a uh, uh, problems with wax. Cause I see a lot of wax in the bottom of this sucker. And that's one side, and it's fairly dry. I'm turning it around, and I ended up gouging the crap out of it. So, you know, because the wax was binding up on the blade. And the girl's got a lot of work to do on this sucker. <laughs> I tore it up good. I don't think they're going to be happy with me when they find out that they all the work they did got tore up. Okay, so let's see if we get out the other side now. If we get it out, put them back in wet. And I may steal a couple more. I don't have any, I don't have big buckets today, I got some small ones, so we'll see what we get with this. See if I can get my first pour come out. See if I even made the gate valve. Here in a minute. Let's see if I made it to the gate valve yet. For what I got. Alright. And see our first look. Hopefully see some of my first pour. And there we go. And it's only dripping. <laughs> it's only dripping, but it's my first drips. Let me tip it forward so we'll see if we can get some more out of there. First drain. And it's real light right now, so I think we're going to have uh, some pretty good sweet honeys here. 
I'm going to have to save the first draw off it too for, you know, what I get each year and the differences they are, they make. Alright, I see something here. See if I can make a little bit of a change here. See what we're doing. This thing is going to want to do what I want it to do. There we go. That's a pour. <laughs> Oh shoot! Just want to switch shift positions. And like I said, I'm getting a lot of wax out of it because of crude methods. I've got crude methods here. Hell, a wasp got in there, Chris. He came out, of course, but <laughs> I don't know how he got in there. I didn't even see him get any get in there. Let's see if I can spin some more off of that. Got the wasp wandering around there. <laughs> sides of uh, the extractor yet. And I'm thinking this is quivered. It's nice, sweet, citrusy. I think that's all I'm getting out of this one. I got a little more, but not much. And I don't see how my wa that wasp got its way in there. <laughs> it's covered in honey. It's getting its fill. I'm trying to get out now. Chris, look. There it goes. Wasp snuck in on me. I didn't see it. And here comes a bee. She done smelled it. So I think I'm not going to be able to draw anymore. So I'm going to let you guys go. And this is going to be a short video. So thank you for coming to visit. And watching my first draw. And as I always say. Be good. Behave. And beehive.